Hi, Kipsters. Uh, we're going to talk today about the metric system of measurement. And the metric system of measurement is probably one of the simplest systems of measurement uh, that is in existence today. Uh, the one that we use primarily in the United States is the customary system. And that doesn't necessarily lend itself to being very simple because you don't necessarily just think about powers of 10. The metric system of measurement uh, is used all across the world. Um, every country uses it, and it just makes perfect sense. I wish that uh, our country adopted this official system as well. Uh, but nonetheless, we have the metric system, and I want to show you how it's, how it's used so that you can convert measurements. So the whole point of this system is uh, for you to know how the structure is so that you can change measurements and convert them uh, from, say, uh, milliliters to liters, or um, millimeters to decimeters, or millimeters to centimeters, um, or kilograms to decigrams. However, today we're only going to talk about using liters uh, because we're going to talk about capacity. All right, so the units for capacity. Liter is the metric unit for capacity, how much liquid can go in a container, how much can fit in a container. Um, meters are the metric units for length, and grams are the metric units for mass, okay? So what we're going to do is look at this chart, um, and just like you learned, uh, go excuse my dear Aunt Sally for uh, GEMDAS, Order of Operations, just like we talked about parallel row rec squa for um, classifying quadrilaterals, parallelograms, rhombus, uh, rectangle and square. We're going to use this mnemonic device to help us memorize the metric system. And once you memorize this, you're basically set. King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk. One more time. King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk. That's King Henry, and he doesn't usually drink chocolate milk. Okay, so that's one way to remember it. Uh, these actually stand for the prefixes for each unit. So kilo um, is a thousand times. Okay, that's what the K stands for. Hecto is a prefix that means a hundred times the unit. So if the unit is liters, it'll be a hectoliter. It'll be a hundred liters. If it's a kiloliter, it'll be a thousand liters. Decaliter. If you look at deca and you replace this K with a C, kind of looks like decade, and decade is 10 years, so that's one way to remember what deca means. Deca is um, 10 times the unit, and one important thing is that deca is abbreviated not with simply a D, but with DA, okay? We put DA to distinguish it from the deci over here. All right, then we move on to the unit itself. The unit will be uh, either liter, meter, or gram, because talking about capacity, it'll be liter. Uh, that's one times the unit. And then we have deci. And deci, just like decimal, is like one-tenth of the unit. So it's whatever the unit is divided by ten. Centi is a prefix that means one-hundredth. That's where we get percent from. Um, so it's one-hundredth. And then milla is one-thousandth of it. Okay? And a thousand is ten to the third power. Hecto is 10 to the second power. 10 is 10 to the first power. 1 is 10 to the 0 power. Okay, anything to the 0 power is always 1. Uh, 1 tenth is 10 to the negative 1 power. And if you're wondering why it's negative 1, it's because um, it's in the denominator. Anything in the denominator will have a negative power. Okay, um, so this is 10 to the negative first. 1 one hundredth is... 10 to the negative second power, and 1,000th is 10 to the negative third power. Okay, now once we understand this and we memorize K, H, D, A, U, D, C, M, King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk. Once we memorize that, we're able to begin to convert measurements, convert the units. Okay, let's see how this is done. Uh, one thing that I just must stress before we go on is that if you have a power of 10 in the denominator, you're going to, it's going to be negative. So you're going to move the decimal point to the left. And the reason why we're moving the decimal point is because we're talking about powers of 10. 
powers of 10 are simply moving the decimal points because we have 10 digits in our numeral system, Hindu Arabic numeral system. Okay, so if you have a positive uh, power, if the power of 10 is in the numerator, then you're going to move the decimal point to the right. One more time. Uh, power of 10 in the denominator, you're going to move to the left. And power of 10 in the numerator, you're going to move to the right. Okay? If the power of 10 is, is, is simply 1, you're not going to move the decimal point at all. Okay? All right, let's go and begin to tackle some of these problems.